Case 18 is a 33-year-old woman with kyphosis. Here you have a CT image through the level of the chest of the thoracic spine. Here you have some satural images through that same region. This is a T2 weighted MR through the same area. Now pre and post contrast images through that area. Your first question is what is the most likely diagnosis? And which of these abnormalities is not associated with neurofibromatosis type 2? What we have here is a case of a spine schwannoma. Spine schwannomas are well circumscribed, rounded masses. Uh, they tend to arise in the neural foramina because the neural foramen gives them a waist. They could be dumbbell shaped where they are, have wasted at the area of the neural foramen. They're hyper intense on T2, hypo intense on T1, and avidly enhanced, much like the schwannomas that occur in the internal auditory canal. They can have uh, internal areas of necrosis or non enhancements. They are associated with type 2 neurofibromatosis. That's the syndrome of multiple inherited schwannomas, meningiomas, and ependymomas. Uh, so your differential for this case is going to be a meningioma or metastasis because one has a pretty classic appearance for schwannoma. Here you see there's some involvement of the neural foramen. So you see expansion of the neural foramen. So on that CT that you had, that neural foramen was larger than the adjacent neural foramen, kind of smoothly remodeled. Uh, here you see the MR images of pre and post contrast. You have this brightly enhancing lesion. Uh, as we talked about, this kind of has a dumbbell shape with that waist at the level of the neural foramen. As we talked about, uh, the neurofibromatosis type 2, interestingly, does not have neurofibromas associated with it. Uh, that tends to be neurofibromatosis type 1. Uh, so with uh, type 2 neurofibromatosis, you tend to get all of these other lesions. And it's also caused by a loss of function mutation on chromosome 22. You can remember that because neurofibromatosis type 2 has 22 letters. So it's easy to remember that that's on chromosome 22. Nerdy, but true.